Don in London, hello, it's the 12th of March 2009. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My substance, alcohol, my behaviour, well, workaholic, alcoholic, any old olic you can think of. And uh, it's been a testing week so far. Not a challenge to my sobriety yet, as much as my feelings and how I feel about other people. And um, I'm glad I'm in a fellowship, a fellowship called Alcoholics Anonymous, which keeps me on track on a daily basis, just for today. And it has a toolkit called the 12 Steps. 12 Steps of AA are action steps. And they need life experience to make them work. Without the life experience, the 12 Steps have no context. So for me, life and living is the context of the 12 Steps. And every experience is valid and in some ways touches on the 12 Step program. How on earth did they manage to do that 80 years ago? I have no clue, other than it was based on a lot of wisdom of the centuries, of what people had learned and used over the years, and then made it into a program of sobriety and uh, recovery, and we have new words for d old habits, so what was a drunk back then is an alcoholic now, and you know, it goes on and on. So we learn day by day just where we are and what we can do, and that is the gift of fellowship for me, that I have it it is not just a, an it, it is, a fellowship is fellows, men, women, who just stay sober one day only. And the preamble is shared at every meeting uh, on this little card. And I'll share it with you now because it brings me into the moment of now and slows me down, stops me jabbering. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other, that they solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denom denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And, uh, you know, even in sobriety, life isn't a box of chocolates or a bunch of roses sometimes. And it's been a, it really has been a difficult few weeks. And uh, I feel that my relationship is re well and truly over with uh, a very wonderful woman. And that's all right, because she will be okay and I'll be okay. Our life together wasn't going to happen, it seems, now. But you know what? We only have one day. But also the sad news of uh, my mutual friend, um, he died on Monday and he was well loved by a lot, of, a lot of people in and out of fellowship around here in Chelsea and was a compassionate man and he helped me. Uh, we had a sort of mutuality around sponsorship with another person and uh, the three of us were very much on the same wavelength and thank you for words shared about about him. Not easy, not easy at all, and you know the sadness is overwhelming now and then, but that's just as it may be, that's grieving, and I'm learning that all over again on two fronts. So today, how am I now? Well, I'm feeling okay, just okay. Uh, I've been checking my blood sugars, making sure my type 1 diabetes regime is as good as it can get just now, uh, with medication changes to do with uh, neuropathic pain caused by diabetes and also clinical depression. Uh, quite a significant change in my my uh, chemical balances I guess. So there are some ups and downs and blood sugar readings which can be alarming if I didn't know what was going on. So on a, on a personal front it's been bloody hard work and almost like a full time job just keeping an eye on what is going on. And it may be made harder sometimes by uh, overzealous people trying to cut costs with my medication list. Uh, I won't go into that now, but you know it, it impacts sometimes. And I don't think administrators really understand the dangers if they cut things out of, pres of a prescription just willy-nilly so the figures look better. That's what I suspect has happened, but that's just me suspecting. I need not do that, and I need not go down a route of challenge and disarray. Today, what has helped me? Daily Reflections book, <coughs> and also the AA Big Book, which I want to talk about very briefly. Uh, the 12 Step Action Program I mentioned at the beginning is step three in March, March being the third month, and it's game, it is about 
just to be quite clear and exact, made a decision to turn our wills, our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. And in the context of that, March 12th, this book, Daily Reflection, A Day's Plan. On awakening, let us think about the 24 hours ahead. We consider our plans for the day. Before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking, especially asking that if it be divorced from self-pity, dishonest or self-seeking motives. And this is about the higher power, God, as you understand him, not me. Uh, I have my own, which is very similar to Gandhi's outlook, although I'm sure if we actually sat down we would argue about it. So here we go. Every day I ask God to kindle within me the fire of his love, so that love burning bright and clear will illuminate my thinking and permit me to better do his will. Throughout the day, as I follow outside circumstances to dampen my spirits, I ask God to sear my consciousness with the awareness that I can start my day over any time I choose, a hundred times if necessary. And that's really like Kipling's if. If at the end of it all we uh, are able to see the day as is and live it to the best of our ability, not in our own way, just getting our self-will. It's about life, living, being included, being no bigger, no smaller than anybody else. But this thing of step three in God, I use the... Um, I have to find my own God or my own higher power so that I may deal with life uh, in a fairly amicable and uh, equalised way with everybody else on the planet. And that is to say, everybody else has a right and that everybody else has an understanding of their God or no God or a higher power or no higher power. All I know is there are natural, natural powers greater than me, including society and civilization, community in which I live, local government, but those are more, I guess, tangible powers, but the, the higher power of good conscience is faith, courage and confidence to be engaged, engaged in the right activities. And uh, when talking about God, in AA's big book, from the chapter about uh, we agnostics, which I'll paraphrase, much, much to our relief we discovered we did not need to consider another's conception of God, our own conception, however inadequate, or in my view adequate was sufficient to make the approach and to, to effect a contact with him. As soon as we admitted the, the possible existence of a creative intelligence, the spirit of the universe under, underlying the totality of things, we began to be possessed of a new sense of power and direction, provided we took other simple steps. We found that God does not, God does not make too hard terms with those who seek him. To us, the realm of the spirit is broad, roomy, all-inclusive, never exclusive or forbidding to those who earnestly seek. It is open, we believe, to all men and women. When, therefore, we speak to you of God, we mean your own conception of God. This applies, too, to the other spiritual expressions which you find in this book. Do not let any prejudice you may have against the spiritual terms deter you from honestly asking yourself what they mean to you. At the start, of, at the start this, will, this was all we needed to commence spiritual growth to affect our first conscious relation with God as we understood him. Afterward, we found ourselves accepting many things which seemed, seemed entirely out of reach. That was growth, but if we wished to grow, we had to begin somewhere, so we used our own conception, however limited or unlimited it was. We need to ask ourselves but one short question. Do I now believe, or am I willing to believe, that there is a power greater than myself? As soon as any man can say that he doesn't, does believe, or is willing to be emphatically assure him that he is on his way. It has been repeatedly proven among us that upon this simple cornerstone a wonderfully effective spiritual structure can be built. And I wholeheartedly agree with that because it is as we understand it. And it's not that we are the higher power, it's that uh, there is a, a great wealth of nature, higher powers than us, and something to do with courage, faith and confidence, which is faith. It's our own faith, it's not that of someone else. What makes us tick and able to get on and include ourselves in life and to be inclusive and similar to other people so we don't keep on knocking on the door of differences. So when I say, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference, I hope always to cherish and to love always.